Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be going over how you guys can make Roblox icon looking text. The text that looks really cool and has like these cool effects like this. And I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make that super easily right now. So go to photofee.com or whatever photo editor you're going to use and click on new project. So for an icon size, if you want to make the icon, it's 512 by 512, but I'm not doing that in this video. I'm just showing you guys how to make the text for now. I will make another video going over the icon and the thumbnail, but this one's just for the text. So go ahead and hit create. Now go to your left side and click on your text tool over here and click anywhere on your canvas. Now go up here to the top left and you can find a font that you like. I think a good font is luckiest guy. I'm going to type in some text just so we can see what it looks like. Double click on your text with the text tool. Once it's selected, then you can change the size. So that's good. Move it to the center. Okay, so I think this font's pretty cool. I can look for some others. I like this one. It's called a uh, Molot, I believe, or something like that. Uh, it's right here. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Or you can use whatever you want. This is what I'm going to use. I'm going to hit that check mark. And actually, I'm going to change it to Roblox. All right. And I'm going to scale it up a little bit more by hitting Control, Alt, and T. And then I'm just going to drag one of those boxes up a little bit. Okay, like this. Now I'm going to hit Control and J to duplicate this Roblox logo and just drag down. And it should bring the other layer down. And I'm going to type in icon text. Now it's a little too big, so I'm going to scale it down. So I'm going to hit Control, Alt, and T. Grab one of these boxes and drag it down. Don't hold Shift because then it will do this unless that's what you want to do. I'm going to bring it like right below it to where they match. Hit that check mark. Now if you want to be more accurate with lining the text up, hit Control and R to pull up your rulers. Now if you drag one of these rulers left, you can line it up so then when you go to line up your text it lines up with this same with the uh, top and bottom you can do that as well just figured if you guys want to know that it's pretty useful as well and i can just move them out of the way and now they're pretty lined up so i'm going to make the roblox text red so i'm going to double click on that text make it red and i'm going to make this text white and now that it's white i can't see it so i'm going to change the background color so double click on your background layer I'm going to go to gradient. I'm going to change the style to radial, which makes it a circle. And I'm going to click on reverse so the black is on the outside. And I'm going to turn the scale up a bit. I'm going to click in this gradient box and change this white box right here to a darker gray. For now. Hit OK. Hit OK. Hit OK. OK, so now we have our text. So now let's make it look a little bit better. So what we're going to do is click on your Roblox text. Or whatever text is on top go to your pen tool on the left side of your screen the fill can be just leave it as black and if you want to change it click on this color box right here and choose what color you want and i'm going to click like in the middle on the left side of the text hold shift go to the right of it and then go down like this like a rectangle but just halfway through it okay now right click on that layer that you just made, it should be called shape something, and click on clipping mask. Now you'll see it made half of it black, but it's a little bit harsh. So click on that again and turn this opacity slider down to what you like. So like that, so that's how people do this and make it look really nice. Sometimes people put like lines through it like I'll show you right now, actually. So if you go to your pin tool, click on the Roblox text again, you can just make like a something like this, right? Now what they do is they hit Control J, move it, Control J, move it, Control J, move it, Control J, right? Hold Shift, click on the top one, and then click on the bottom one, right click it, convert it to a smart object. So now they're all one. So now when you turn the opacity down on it, also you have to make it a clipping mask as well. It looks like this. 
right? So that's how they do a bunch of those kinds of effects. So now let's do something different to our eye context. So click on your eye context, go to your pen tool, and you can make some waves. So let's just hold left click and drag our mouse a bit. Like as we're moving our mouse, you want to hold left click and drag it. So it makes waves, right? It might look like trash at first. That's completely fine. Redo it until you like it. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect on the bottom, just something that covers the text. Let's try it again, right click, clipping mask. Now you could even leave it 100% opacity and just go up here to the fill and change the color of it. Or even a pattern. So like if you change the color, it could be kind of cool as well. I prefer to leave it as black and turn the opacity down on it. It just makes the text look super, super nice. Okay, so those are like really common ways to do this. Now, let's say we want to add a black border around them, which a lot of people do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these layers by holding shift, clicking on the top and then click on the bottom, or you can hold control and just click each one, right click, convert it to a smart object so it's all merged together. Double click on that layer and you're going to want to go to stroke. Okay, it's going to pull up a small black stroke. Now, if you click on that box, it'll pull up the menu. You can turn up the size like this, and then you can click this plus sign right here, change the color of this one, and then turn the size up, and it'll be like another one on the outside of that one. And then you can like add a drop shadow. 90 degree angle, so it's just like right below it. You need to mess with the settings a bit, capacity, size, all that, right? So it's starting to give it some depth. Um, you can even add satin to it, turn the opacity down as well. If you want to make it look different. Um, inner glow. I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge. I'm going to turn the spread and size up a little bit. So you can see here it kind of makes the text glow a bit and I'm going to turn the opacity down a bit. So it's really nice. Here's before and after. It does really add to the text, in my opinion. Now you don't have to have the strokes if you don't want. You can turn those off. It's up to you. I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's super quick and easy. These are like really useful for making different kinds of logos and stuff. You guys will use these a lot, so I hope this helped you guys. It was just a simple tutorial on how to do this. Um, so now what you can do, which is really cool as well, is now that your layer is just one layer, hit Control J, duplicate it, click on the bottom one, so it's on the bottom of it. I'll hit Control Alt and T to select it and make it pretty big. And you can either move it right in the center of it, behind it, or towards the bottom right a bit. Hit that check mark, go over to opacity and turn it down. So I just put it right behind it. And if it's too like visible, you can go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, or really any of them. And just blur it a bit, which since we have strokes, it makes it look a little weird. Um, but because you might have to um, rest or not rasterize, you might have to convert it to a smart object first and then do it so it blurs the whole thing that's one way you can do it and um, yeah that's really all there is to this video that's how to make some cool nice text for like really anything but mainly roblox icons and all that stuff so i hope you guys found this useful if you did i have plenty of other videos like this a lot of roblox videos thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace